Hey everybody, I'm trying to set our uh, our live stream up. Haven't tried this from uh... Happy birthday, John. Oh well, thank you, sir. Well, I don't know, guys. We might have to uh, we might have to give this to message and uh, and give it to everybody as a as a recording. So how about we do that, and we'll uh, we'll we'll just record it out and uh, send it to everybody later on. Hi everybody, it's uh, another installment of the uh, baseline protocol office hours. Uh, got a good group of uh, folks here on the uh, on the panelists. We've got uh, uh, Kyle, and we've got Andre, and uh, Boris, and Gemi, uh, and uh, Stefan, and Nick, and more coming. We're having a few technical uh, uh, difficulties as I'm up in uh, the mountains with uh, very limited bandwidth. I hope everybody can see me okay for now. If, if it gets hinky, let me know. I'll turn off my video. Um, is it coming through okay right now? Terrific. Looks perfect. Awesome. Oh, good to know. It's not a lot of people up here yet, so maybe the bandwidth will be all mine. So, uh, <clears throat> We have some exciting things going on next week or this week uh, and and in the coming weeks, uh, and and so I uh, and but before we get into all of that, I'd love to hear if there are any questions uh, from folks about how to be involved, how to uh, you know, things that they're having trouble figuring out, uh, things that they'd like to know more about. So uh, before we get into any other uh, conversations with our celebrity guest stars. We'll uh, ask some questions. Boris, Evgeny, Andre. No, no questions so far. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Everybody able to un unmute? Good. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Kyle, I know that you've got a big event tomorrow. You want to uh, talk about that and, and let everybody know how to get on that? You're in you. You're on sure, the sure, yeah, thanks, John. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, so tomorrow uh, we're hosting uh, the second ETH Atlanta. Uh, all virtual, uh, it's like a four hours worth of content uh, to uh, discuss uh, what the baseline protocol is, uh, sort of from the context of, of, uh, of enterprise uh, tooling, um, what you can do with it, uh, hit, talk a little bit about tokenization and then how you might scale, um, you know, solutions using uh, public blockchain and um, public cloud infrastructure. Then we're going to hear from um, well, there's going to be a fireside chat with um, uh, UPS and Hudson Jameson is going to um, going to moderate that. And then there's going to be uh, uh, some breakout sessions uh, that start around 2 p.m. and um, sort of cover various topics, all, you know, from security uh, to uh, ERP integration with Dynamics, uh, Vision Blockchain. We'll do that. Um, Invoice factoring. Kyle Alicott's going to give a uh, do a breakout session on contact tracing, and then um, the other one is sort of entertainment uh, industry focused. It'll be a panel about um, mainnet applications at consumer scale. Uh, so I think that'll be a pretty cool event. Um, it's a Zoom webinar and then live stream to YouTube if, if it flow, if it overflows. Uh, check it out uh, ethatl.com. E that's E T H A T L. Thanks, John. Awesome. And, and, and you said how much, it, does it cost anything to join or? No, it is, it's free. It's free, free, free webinar. Um, and it's, it'll be all day on, uh, on Zoom webinars, is that right? 11, 11, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, U.S. Eastern. Yeah. Terrific. All right, well, uh, good luck on that. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. And <clears throat> also the uh, technical steering committee uh, is tomorrow, uh, just before that at 10 a.m. 
Uh, we moved it up an hour. And then uh, next week on Monday is the, at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern, <clears throat> is the uh, 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 steering committee, the, uh, the specification steering committee, or SSC. Um, that's gotten to be a very big group. Uh, it's over 50 now and, uh, and growing. Um, so that's, that's going to be a great uh, session, Kyle. Thanks a lot. Is there anything else you'd like to add about that? Um, you know, those guest speakers or uh, people that people should know about? Uh, no, I mean, uh, yourself, uh, Derek, Stefano will be talking, um, York, uh, Karthik. I mean, I think it'll, I think the, um, the flow of the content is going to, uh, it'll be short and sweet to the extent that, uh, you know, if you want to learn about baseline and um, sort of what the approach can mean, um, it, it should be short, short and sweet, hold your attention and uh, be pretty painless <laughs> to that end. So if you're suffering from, uh, Zoom webinar fatigue, uh, you can still you can still make it. Terrific. All right. Well, um, uh, moving along, I think um, uh, Stefan and uh, and some folks on the call have other uh, announcements to make. Uh, I'd like to throw that up. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Um, speaking of ETH Atlanta and um, also about everything that. Kyle uh, sets up for the for the baseline protocol and for the community and it's not only uh, he's not only the host of that uh, conference then but also uh, provides a big um, contribution with uh, with, with uh, his company provides so um, together with Unibright um, we partnered with Provide uh, two weeks ago also on an official uh, basis and in terms of baseline we thought that it it's a good idea to tackle some um, use cases that have the potential to be um, multi multiplied afterwards. And uh, speaking of the TSC and the SSC, um, some folks from Fraunhofer uh, IPK in Germany joined the, I think the last two SSC meetings, Christian. And um, yeah, we teamed up with them and uh, decided to uh, work on a, uh, a goal of an application in the field of manufacturing technology, jointly researching the potential uh, for open source, for uh, how baseline can be applied and uh, make something out of it that can be published jointly. Um, Fraunhofer is very active in the scientific space, so there will most probably come uh, a publication out of it. And we will also use it to acquire uh, bilateral and publicly funded projects that uh, are interested in baseline. And as baseline is a pattern, um, I also like very much at this uh, project um, that it also follows a pattern that at least we at Unibright uh, faced quite often the last two weeks, um, telling from the requests that we got, meaning um, that there are existing solutions on Hyperledger Fabric that uh, could somehow be transformed or extended by the baseline approach. And this is also the case here in the, in the uh, Fraunhofer case. So it's a, there is an existing blockchain demonstrator for an um, additive manufacturing system uh, that's already available. It's based on Hyperledger Fabric. And um, we would like to extend it in accordance with the guidelines of, of baseline pattern. We would like to expand it uh, to include integration into SAP. It's about uh, quality management and uh, ongoing supply chain based on live data that occurs during the production process. So it's very interesting. It uh, has a huge scaling potential in terms of that the manufacturing um, industry and real-time quality data um, exchange trustfully with uh, throughout the supply chain is a very uh, sensible and meaningful topic. So um, we are not 100% sure how we tackle the official part of it. So I guess we will somehow, I will make a proposal during the TSC how to include it in the project plan of uh, baseline. So in the Senhub uh, that it appears there accordingly. And I think Kyle and team and our team will provide ongoing updates on the uh, yeah, how, how it's how it's working out and especially what can be extracted from this case uh, to end up in the protocol. So very excited and great that Fraunhofer is is interested. I mean, they're a very established company, uh, if I'm not wrong. 
they are, they are working since uh, 1976 on on innovation and um, it's great that they also are part of the of the baseline initiative and we are very much looking forward to this first project and see what comes out of it thanks john Wow, that's pretty cool. I've always been a fan of Fraunhofer uh, for a long time, even back when I used to live in Germany years ago. Um, good group. Uh, so that's that's one big announcement. Uh, any other questions or announcements that are that are coming up? Anyone? Kyle, would you like to talk a little bit about um, Init Core? Sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been making steady progress and uh, working with the, the maintainers um, yeah, to, to get it to get it merged. Um, I think we're looking at having a PR up in here this week uh, against Master finally. So yeah, it's solid and steady progress. Um, you know, working on the on the various components. When do you uh, when do you think? Um Folks should be looking to what, what 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 do you think people need to be preparing themselves for when 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 it comes to the the changes with this new um, uh, branch that will be merged to master? Well, it's a lot it's a lot more usable. Um, yeah, I think there's there's going to be a, a the need for a, probably like um, some sort of some some video demonstrations or um, you know it's, it's extra documentation uh, that doesn't exist yet today. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to be a pretty significant uh, refactor, uh, you know, in terms of um, how how Radish uses you know uses things. The Rad and, and and by Radish, you mean the Radish uh, thirty four demo that was the original the original package, yeah. Right. right. Yeah, it's it's more of an example now, uh, and so I think that um, I, I think that a lot more applications will be able to actually get started uh, using the protocol um, once the once these changes make it into master. Um, it, it'll just, it, I think it follows a much more common and well understood pattern in, in engineering, in the engineering space today in terms of uh, um, proper packaging and separation of concerns. Um, so I think folks will, I think folks will appreciate it uh, and be able to get started. So that's, that's, um, this, would you say that this is the first big drop of um, what the community was formed to do, which was to uh, abstract and generalize the original demo and POC and, yeah. uh, and and make it so that it's generalizable, uh, usable, and, and, and pluggable into different uh, products. Is, and, and this yeah. will start that. What, what, I mean, when I say what do people need to know, uh, what do you mean, where are they gonna wanna go? Like right now they're going into the Radish 34 folder mm -hmm. in, in the repo. Where are they gonna right. go after this drops? <clears throat> yeah, so they'll, they'll be able to go look at exa the example Radish uh, 34 under examples at, this, at, at that point. So uh, that'll, be now, that'll be in now in, in examples. Right. And, and where will the core code, if, you, if you're starting from scratch, where are you gonna go? So yeah, the core, pa the core packaging is under, is under baseline slash core, uh, and you'll see a, a list of packages there, uh, and each one has, you know, its own readme and sort of, an, you know, npm -able package. Um, Excellent. Yeah. So you'll be doing a lot of import. So, so at this point, it'll, it won't be, you, you know, looking at the code from the demo and trying to make it work for yourself. You'll be importing packages. Right. You'll, you'll actually be able to build something, you know, I think, for, you know, take a stab at least at building something from scratch using the Radish 34 example as a, um, as an example, you know, at, at that point. Um, so yeah, it's cool. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, providers, so to speak, to, to, that we could add to sort of the, the way the architecture is set up now. Um, so like persistence providers, like, you know, if we wanted to add like a Postgres provider, I think that would be, would be a, lot, a lot more doable. You know? Stuff like that. Right on. I, think, I think we'll be able to engage the community and to do those sort of things a lot, in a lot more straightforward way. So folks that are building stuff right now or have been building on the original package or on the original demo uh, pattern, they're going to want to uh, uh, get ready for um, uh, that. They're going to they're going to need to change their their uh, their system. Yeah. They'll be able to refactor it into a way where it's where they can actually test it in a you know uh, in a much more straightforward way for sure. Uh, right. On. You probably won't need twelve gigs of RAM. 
Okay, and we'll we'll make sure to give them. Uh, everybody will get uh, do documentation beforehand. And uh, so we're looking what in a few weeks. Yeah, we should we should plan on setting up some sort of uh, maybe we could just do it on office hours even um, some sort of walkthrough when when we uh, merge it and sort of uh, show people you know how to get started. Uh, I think we could also do that beforehand so that we don't confuse folks. Right on. Sorry, I'm uh, distracted as I try to get another person into the. There it is. Thanks, Aaron. Um, okay, well, that's pretty exciting. Um, any any questions from folks on on uh, the the changes to the branch called init core? Got a pretty good crew of folks here on the call, uh, 12 people. Uh, definitely have to get better at figuring out a way of, on these webinars to signal in advance uh, how to get into them. Um, seems like everybody you know, scrambles right you know, right before noon when I when we throw up a tweet. And uh, and so and this week, for some reason, having te technical difficulties putting up uh, on the, I'm sorry for the background noise, uh, on the, uh, on YouTube, so we'll have to we'll have to uh, send this out as a canned video later on today, after we get the, uh, the recording. But uh, it's still a pretty good crew. Yeah, we'll back it up. Uh, so, um, what do we have? Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is this is the office hours. So, uh, keen to get questions from people. Yeah. Hey, um, this is Thomas speaking. Hope you guys can hear me well. Um, perfect. Um, yeah. So um, just a little background. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm, my name's Thomas, obviously. I'm calling in from a company called Trace Labs. Um, we've been a supply chain oriented company for the best part of the last <clears throat> eight years or so. So we started out in 2013. Um, really not focused on decentralized ledger technologies or blockchain um, at the time, uh, but rather on some things that also baseline is touching today, which was really how to connect effectively different points in the supply chain um, with data, how to synchronize what's happening um, across the different supply chain, ideally end to end, but at least between two, three parties already kind of bringing the value. We started off with um, helping companies show the kind of re origin of their, of their products and sorts. Um, and then quickly kind of got interest, got pulled towards um, DLT from the perspective of um, providing that integrity. Obviously I'm preaching to the choir here um, with, with the value propositions of, of what the DLTs and blockchain uh, bring to the table. Uh, but still that, that was kind of exciting for us. Although coming from the data side, that wasn't really uh, quite so nice. You, you couldn't really, um, reconcile those two worlds uh, quite as easily. Um, again, um, something that baseline kind of um, touches upon. Uh, so basically Trace Labs is also a core developer of uh, Origin Trail Protocol, um, which is uh, an, an open source protocol that helps really address some of the key challenges that we saw around the data scalability space, around um, data connectivity, um, and has a vision of uh, creating a basically decentralized graph um, where you could uh, neatly connect different existing legacy systems together, um, not really dis disturb um, the, the current processes or current systems. Again, something that we've seen uh, with baseline as well. So that's why we saw that there's quite a few uh, very complementary principles that we've been um, adopting. Um, so uh, kind of we've, we've done implementations of the technology with some of our, our, our partners, most not notably uh, the British Standard Institution, I'd say recently they put out a, um, a, a white paper describing a couple of cases uh, how mainnets can really be utilized even in enterprise context today and, and what type of value that uh, you can reap out of that. Um, and then the cases are pretty cool because they're really global. So um, it's not limited to a very one-off case, let's say something. It's very, um, it's very wi wide in its applicability. Uh, so basically what we're trying to see from, from, from the office hours or try, trying to get guidance is where would be the best um, 
uh, the best start to kind of join the the ecosystem also of, uh, of of baseline since we believe that there's a good overlap in the activities or at least in the in the vision that we share um, and be um, I mean we, we would also um, like to see from the open source perspective kind of what's the overlap as well as from the uh, let's say um, proprietary focus in terms of um, just client offering what what more can we do with the technology if we put it together uh, so yeah what what would be the the best way to kind of um, get cracking well thanks thomas that's that's a uh, pretty informative i've been hearing uh, there have been questions on on uh, on various uh, fora about uh, you know or, or, or origins rail i don't know that much about it um and so it, it's good to get a, a little bit of information um is, is origin trail i mean does it is it layer two off of ethereum yeah uh, oh, yeah Yes, correct. So um, Origin Trail is like a, you can, um, it's like a middleware that's decentralized. Um, so it's built on top of Ethereum. Um, well, it, didn't, it really, we started off working with Ethereum because it offered us the, the key characteristic which we required, which was kind of having that integrity, right? So permission systems would have a limited um, amount of that integrity, whereas something that's public and, and decentralized would have much more of that. So that was the attractive bit with us when it came to, to blockchain. But then data is really like you can't scale it as much, right? So uh, obviously, because the blockchain is intended to replicate data across the entire network. So Origin Trail is a layer two on top of blockchain, but it, it's really tailor made to handle this type of linked uh, data, uh, where the replications also are um, are, are not 100% because it's a graph. So it is a decentralized graph and it's replicated up to a certain amount, but not throughout the entire uh, network. It rather utilizes blockchain underneath to anchor in the uh, different, uh, different uh, proofs uh, that can then show that this decentralized network indeed hasn't tampered with the, uh, with the data. And if someone would to temper um, offer litigation via smart contracts, again, running on Ethereum, right? So you have like this type of, linked data repository extension of, of, uh, of, of Ethereum, which gives you the benefits of decentralization and, and kind of extends what, uh, what core Ethereum offering is to, to uh, scalability of the data, which is what we saw for the supply chain context was really key. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, any, any questions from the, from, the, from the team here about, uh, about that approach? By the way, this is the second time in, in as many days that I've uh, had a conversation with somebody about layer two and baselining, and uh, you know, the, the, uh, I'll say what I said to them to, to the other uh, party uh, mm -hmm. yesterday that you know, it would be a great thing to see a, a project on. Uh, I don't think anybody's tried to do a baselining pattern with you know to layer two and figure out what that would mean, right? Everything we're, we're doing right now goes directly to the mainnet, and it, admittedly, you know, the, the point of that is that. The, the the approach we're taking is fairly forgiving for in, in terms of scaling and, and 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 latency and all the things that we worry about with with a, with a public mainnet. Um, baseline doesn't have as many of those issues um, mm -hmm. as you know. It's not like we're we're uh, putting the mainnet on the back of your you know, on the back end of your Twitch game or something. I've been talking. I've been talking with Connect Network a little bit a little bit about um, layer two and. Um, in baseline, and I'd love to uh, um, invite them to this discussion. Uh, if it makes sense to do that now, I can do that. Yeah, sounds sounds like there's some some uh, some energy boiling up around uh, you know various groups doing some layer two projects and demos to to show what that would mean and and what the benefits would be. And I think that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I think you could achieve like consensus within a work group uh, off chain using layer two. And then once the process reaches finality, then submit the proof to the blockchain. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So I, th I think there's a couple of, couple of points that could be beneficial that we see also kind of, um, because it's not the transaction TPS, like it wasn't really the, the block the blocker for us. So it's not a layer two in the sense of that we would have a, um, any type of side chain or something like that. Origin Trail is not a blockchain, it's a, peer-to-peer um, -peer network that kind of holds this decentralized graph. Um, but what, what, what I see as exciting is how can we, what, what's the overlap of, that, of the linked data potential? So whatever is baseline um, 
it's not um, it's not something that's kind of is in lives in isolation at least not in the context of the supply chain um, use case that we've that we're discussing um, so it'd be more like how can we um, join the two together so that this type of um, this data potentially is also then linked to something that um, something else, something relevant, obviously, because the identifiers have to kind of cross-reference, um, and can also be by that, by that, uh, through that um, kind of way, discoverable by by someone else. Um, again, maybe as a, from the partners of those companies that are doing something with the baseline already, or uh, or beyond. Um, yeah, and kind of just see how that interplay, or vice versa. Like, is there something from OT, obviously, that could be baseline um, from the get-go? It sounds like it's a great opportunity for the OT folks to to create a demo to sh to really show the community what can be done and 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 yeah, that, that, the code code talks right. So if uh, if somebody were to throw up a quick demo of how that would work, maybe off of a basic Radish thirty four demo or uh, another one, um, that would really sing for everybody, right? I mean, it's hard it's hard in, to talk about things in the abstract, uh, even among people that are skilled in the art. So it's, it's, it really does something for people when you can show a demo. So maybe that um, is something we can add, can add to the backlog or to the roadmap. And uh, maybe the OT folks would be interested uh, in, uh, in, in developing a quick demo. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, generally we're, we're keen to kind of get, get in touch if there's also uh, like if, if a point of contact that we could utilize for, uh, for questions that we could also then give back to, to the team. That's um, well, just, just like can, the folks on, there. yeah, just like the mm -hmm. folks on this call. I mean, it, what, you know, this is an openly governed open source community. So you just jump, you, know, you just start doing stuff. Thomas, I'd love uh, to introduce you to, I'd love to introduce you to Arjun uh, and yeah. see Connect, yeah. so hit me up. We'll yeah, so jump on the Slack, uh, 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 grab some of the maintainers like Kyle and others, and um, and then join the SSC and, and put your name on an Epic and explain what the Epic is and start to unpack it into a real project. And and then at some point, let me know uh, or let let the, uh, the the sitting chair or the uh, TSC uh, know uh, that you want to announce a new demo, and we'll get it out there. Sounds good. Yep. And if you want to, if you want to join the, the SSC uh, meeting to, that's where we usually discuss new projects mm -hmm. and, uh, and kind of shine flashlight on the shiny ones. Um, you, you're welcome to do that. They're on uh, Mondays at 11 AM every other week. So the next one's next week and, uh, send me your, or, you know, get on Slack, uh, send me your, your, um, email addresses and, and, uh, get up IDs and we'll, we'll get you into there. Perfect. Appreciate um, the, the, the kind uh, response, guys. Right on. Um, well, uh, other, other questions, other, other comments, other announcements? It's freezing up here in the mountains. So uh, if <laughs> you got to jump in fast, otherwise I'll just say that this is, that we'll adjourn because I'm, I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good day. Uh, excited about tomorrow. Uh, Kyle and the ETH Atlanta team, uh, uh, give us that URL again, please. Uh, ETH, ETH, ETH ATL. ETH ATL. Com, right? com. Yep. All right. So people that want to get on that, uh, register there. I just sent it in the chat. If you want to use it. Sorry, some giant vehicle is trying to get up the mountain. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, other than that, it's great to see everybody. Uh, we'll see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. And um, uh, as I said, uh, TSC is tomorrow, 10 a.m., not 11 a.m. as normal, uh, U.S. Eastern. And the SSC is Monday at, uh, uh, at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, once again, getting on the SSC is as simple as being accountable for uh, an epic, right? So if you have an epic that you want to... Uh, a uh, project that you want to uh, start tracking uh, in the baseline community, go ahead and uh, contact us, let us know, and we'll, we'll get you into that meeting and we will uh, get your GitHub ID into the roadmap repo so that you can add your Epic and, and control your project. Uh, beyond that, 
it's good to see everybody and uh, see you soon. Oh, hey, by the way, Kyle, do you want to say anything about the, the other two demos that you're, you're working on? Oh, yeah, so the, when the, those the are coming up? Yeah, so I'd say right after uh, the, we get this merged into an core, uh, we'll be able to, to show off the, the DocuSign uh, demo. Um, which, one, which, which other one? The other, the baseline as a service? Yeah, DocuSign and baseline as a service sound like a, a two, yeah. two that, that were coming up, right? Yeah, so, so uh, baseline as a service will, I think, would, would be great to show off on the, uh, the SSC like early, the early part of next month. Uh, I could probably just do both of them on the same the same day, actually. So um, all that stuff will probably be dropping in the in the July time frame. Yeah, it's all it's all related to the uh, to the work that's been that's been done in the core. Um, so it's you know it'll, it'll uh, yeah, that's but, but I can't wait to, to show it off. And then I, I should probably say there's the uh, just as the last thing, there is a uh, a big tent pole project that uh, folks can get involved with. And that is the uh, tokenization of invoices. Uh, that, that is taking an invoice uh, record and, and baselining it, uh, and then uh, turning it into something you can manage as a digital, digital asset and do things like factoring and other kinds of assety, tokeny things. So that's a that's the big tentpole project for the summer. Uh, lots of folks are getting involved with that. Uh, if you're interested, jump on the uh, the Slack at GitHub dash protocol, or I'm sorry, a, a, a baseline dash protocol dot org. And you can uh, get the inviter to the Slack and find uh, the, the community that's working on that project. Karthik, Karthik and I are also leading a discussion just with the community tomorrow at ETH ATL. If anyone wants to, to come to that, uh, we would love to talk about it there. On the ETH Atlanta, uh, ETH ATL. Uh, uh, the breakout, it's a, there's, a, there's, an, there's an invoice factory breakout session there. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Good to see you all and see you next week. Thanks, John. See you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.